welcome! For today's video, we will be performing wiring tutorial for our reverse forward motor control. So we will continue our white wiring tutorial. So guys, if you are new here, please consider subscribing and hit the notification bell button for us to be updated for the future videos. Please also hit the like button and share this video to others. So let's go! So guys, before we proceed on our wiring tutorial on activating our pilot lamps for stop, forward, reverse, and trip. So, I will show you that we will be needing a two pieces auxiliary contact block model number LADN11 from Schneider. So, this is a combination of normally closed contact and normally open contact. So, we will fix this one on our uh, forward contactor. So, it's already fixed. And the other one on our reverse contactor. So, let's start wiring, activating our pilot lamps and then later activating our induction motor. According to our control circuit, to activate our stop indication light, so we will go, we will be from our line, we'll pass to the normally close contact located on our uh, forward contactor and we'll go also to normally close contact located on our reverse contactor. So this is our auxiliary contact block. So once any of the contactor is activated, it will open and will deactivate our stop indication. To activate our forward indication light, so again from our line, we'll go to the normally open contact located on our uh, forward contactor, which is our uh, auxiliary contact block. So once this is closed, we'll give the line supply from our uh, forward indication light, so it will work. And also the reverse indication lights from our line also will go to the normally open contact located on our reverse contactor. So once it is closed, it will give the light supply to our reverse indication light. And from our trip, so this is uh, from our thermal overload normally open contact. Once there is any abnormality, so this will one will close and will activate our trip indication lights and will shut down all the control circuit. So all of our uh, indication lights will be needing our neutral line. So let's start wiring. So I have already prepared our line supply for our auxiliary contact block. So this is our normally closed contact. will go to the uh, forward uh, indication lights. And this is our normally closed contact. So I give also the lines of light. And then from this point, we will go to another side of normally open contact that will activate our reverse indication lights. So from this point, we will connect our line supply going to our ter terminal block. But this point normally closed will go from here and then from here going to another side of normally closed contact. So once any of the contactor is activated, it will deactivate our stop indication lights. And then from here, from this point, this one will go to our stop indication light so we will connect now our wire that will goes to our terminal uh, line terminal block so i will start connecting now our wires that will goes to our line terminal block so i will connect now our main supply of our indication lights for forward reverse and stop indication lights that will be need, needing our line supply voltage so this one will be connected on this terminal block so i will type now our line supply for our indication lights so the next thing that we are going to do is to know the setup of our indication lights so this is our stop forward and this is also our forward push button and this is our reverse indication light and this is our reverse indication and this is our trip so we will start uh, connecting now our contacts to activate our indication lights from our nc or normally close contact of our auxiliary auxiliary contact block we will make a series connection for activating and deactivating our stop indication light so this is our nc contact so we have already the line supply so from the line supply from here we will go from here 
and then from this point this one will goes to our stop indication lights so this is our stop indication lights from our stop indication lights we will connect now our wire from the last point up to normally close contact that we connected in series connection so this is the last point of our normally close contact of our auxiliary contact block from our forward indication lights one end of our indication lights so we will go from here from the normally open contact of our auxiliary contact block so once forward contactor is activated so this indication lights will function so let's connect it here so i will connect now the wire that comes that came from our forward indication lights in our normally open contact of our auxiliary contact block from our reverse indication lights so we will connect this wire to our auxiliary normally open contact located on our reverse contactor so we will fix it now so this is the wire so we will fix it now so we're done in uh, connecting our stop forward reverse indication lights from our uh, trip indication lights so we will connect our uh, wire from the normally open contact of our thermomagnetic circuit breaker a combination of an overload relay and a circuit breaker so we will connect it now this is now the wire that came from our uh, trip indication light so we will connect it from here so the other uh, terminal on my left on the left side this is the this is the supply for our uh, trip indication lights that will goes to our terminal block for line supplies so i will connect now this wire as what i have said the wire that will goes to our line terminal block so this is now the wire that uh, came from our thermal overload relay for activating our trip indication light so we're almost done the remaining part that uh, we have been missing from our uh, performing uh, activating indication lights is that we don't have any neutral connection for our uh, indication lights so we will prefer it now now that i have already connected all of our neutral lines of our indication lights so we will connect now our main neutral line to our uh, terminal block of our neutral uh, supply I will connect now our main neutral line of our all indication light. So, this is our neutral terminal block which is also connected on our neutral terminal of our circuit breaker. So, we are done. So, we are now about to check what we have done. I am going to switch on now our circuit breaker for our control circuit. So, what we got here is an stop indication and a trip indication lights so what we are going to do is to reset our uh, overload relay to remove the trip indication light so we already removed the trip indication light so what we are going to do is to try to push our forward uh, push button and the reverse push button uh, so let me check if this indication lights will be turned off so we will go now to forward push button so we already have uh, the forward uh, indication lights and cutting the supply line or making this indication st stop off and then we will go now to our uh, reverse push button so we will try now to go on forward uh, operation without going or without uh, pushing our stop uh, push button so we will try now so our forward indication or forward operation is activated then we will go to, the, to our reverse uh, operation so we will push our reverse indication uh, reverse push button without going to stop push button so our forward uh, stop and then we will go to reverse operation 
now that we have found out that we have made correctly our wiring uh, wirings for our uh, indication lights we can now proceed on connecting our three phase induction motor at this point I will show you now how we can make a reverse forward jug operation using this simple control circuit that we have performed so let's go now that i have made the connection of our three phase of light for our forward reverse uh, wiring tutorial we can now test our induction motor to run this in forward or in reverse reverse rotation but if you can see i have made i have connected already our red facing yellow facing and the blue facing and i made a parallel connection from here so it means that red to red facing yellow to yellow facing and blue to blue facing and on this point i made a reversing uh face a reversing uh, connection so from this one if you can see uh, from uh, red facing it is now connected on our blue facing from our yellow facing which is also same yellow to yellow facing and from this uh, red facing it is now connected on our blue facing and then this is our line going to our three phase induction motors motor sorry now we are going to try our uh, control circuit and energize our three phase induction motor by a uh, forward and reverse rotation and as i promised also i will show you how this simple circuit will function as jug operation so let's see so i will switch on now our circuit breaker for control circuit now we have an indica indication light for stop and trip because our thermal overload uh, relay is in trip position so i will now reset our uh, magnet uh, thermomagnetic circuit breaker now that we don't have already the trip position uh, trip indication we can now proceed on our forward and reverse operation so i will go now on our forward push button so we are now running on forward rotation and i will stop it and try now to go or to press our reverse push button now that we are in reverse rotation so we will try now our uh, interlocking through our push button so we will go to our forward rotation without pressing our stop push button so i will try now this is our forward push button so i will press this softly so the motor stop and then press it again now that we are in forward rotation and then we will try again our safety interlocking so we will go now on our reverse rotation without pressing our stop push button so i will press this softly again so the motor stop and then press it again now that we are in reverse rotation as i have promised you that i'm going to show you how this simple circuit will function also as jug in jug operation so what we are going to do is now that we are in reverse rotation we are going to press this uh, directly and then we will press our uh, push button forward to make a jug for our reverse rotation so like this so they are now functioning as jug operation in reverse rotation so i'm going now to press our forward push button to change our rotation so we will not go on uh, uh, pressing our stop push button so press this softly again and then press for the another time so we are now running on forward rotation so we are going to make a jug operation on our forward rotation by doing the same procedure as what we have done on reverse rotation so we will press directly our uh, forward uh, push button and then we will press softly our reverse push button to make the jug operation for 
forward operation. So, let's see. So, we are now having the jog operation on forward rotation. So, we will stop again our uh, induction motor by, uh, by the basic operation. So, we will go on forward again and try it again. And then stop. And then we go on our reverse rotation. And then we stop again by our push button. And then we go on forward. And then we will go on our reverse without uh, going to our uh, stop push button. Now that we are in reverse rotation, so we will go on forward rotation again without going to our stop push button. We will see our interlocking now that we are in forward rotation. So we will try again to make a jog operation on our reverse uh, operation, uh, forward uh, rotation. So we will press hard our push button for forward and then jog the reverse push button. So we are now functioning as jog operation. So we will try again on our reverse so, now that we are in a reverse rotation, so we will try again the jog operation. So, press hard our reverse push button and jog the forward push button. So, I hope you learned something from our wiring tutorial. So, guys, if you are new here, please consider subscribing and hit the notification bell button for us to be updated for the future videos. Please also hit the like button and share this video to others. So thank you for watching mga kalinya. See you on the next video and God bless you always. Be safe, stay home, stay safe.